Good morning. Welcome to Championship Sunday. Maven joined by Courage. We are here for the MLG.TV Advanced Warfare Open Tournament here in Columbus, Ohio. You ready to go, bud? Yeah, man. It's been a crazy weekend at, up to this point. Got, I think uh, I got, got like five hours of sleep. Oh, I know, right? Who cares? Yes, yesterday we, we casted for uh, approximately 78 hours straight. And yeah. Now we're back in and ready to go. We're getting wow. loaded up in game number one. Now, what we have for you to start off the morning is going to be Optic Nation versus Aware. This is going to be a huge losers round four matchup. This is to secure a spot in the top eight. Kicking things off hot and heavy this morning. Yeah, I'm excited to see which teams come out of the gate. Both of them are here early, practicing their shots, making sure they were getting warmed up. We're going to be hopping here to Solar Hardpoint and Maven. I think that the key thing here is going to be this starting hill. Let's see who can start slaying right off the bat. Yeah, this central hill, you know, we talk about central hills, whether it's this, you know, retreat, retreat any of these, you know, large central maps. And uh, the hill, you know, this one is one we sometimes see teams struggle to get anything really going early on. It ends up being kind of more juggle between the two sides, but we'll see if anyone can get a hot start, maybe secure more than half of these points. Who is your man to watch during this match? I am going to be sitting on board with Karma, a very emotional player here in the Call of Duty scene. Let's see how he's able to do things. He's got two players on his right. He actually gets picked off. Now trying to uh, go back here towards the middle of the map. And we'll see as Karma pushes here down towards this bottom cut through. Maven, trading back and forth here at the start of the game. Yeah, it's going to be definitely flying back and forth right now. Uh, we'll keep eyes on here. We'll try and get on. Let's see. We got bows. Switch through. Nice new feature here with the D-pad. Switch through the classes. Been able to see what these guys are going to be rocking. We do see Imbos, and they're going to get stunned. Eventually taken out bottom mid mat. No one able to get early control, but we do see Karma in a pretty good spot. He's able to win a huge gunfight. There's one more pushing from that right side, though, and he is ultimately going to drop. We'll see if anyone can get things rolling right now. I think that was Teep able to pick up one, but will eventually fall. Yeah, TP was actually the first player on both these teams that I saw in the venue practicing. He's been playing FFAs for, it's got to be 40 minutes now. So his shot is on as he started this game. Six and three. Now we're going to hop on board here with Proofy. Sitting inside this hill. Now rotating over to Pipes for the second hill. All right. Yeah, we'll keep things on here. Uh, let's see who we can get rolling with right now. We'll keep eyes on with Proofy. He is going to be making the rotation. This will be our second hill right now being contested. It looks like that original control is going to go to our Atlas side, which will be the boys of Aware. Now, Aware, they won that first matchup versus Envy. Got control of that pool, but due to the three-way ties, things did not break out in their favor. I think it was a late win by SB was what helped project SB and Envy forward. But we'll see what these guys can do. Cinder has been an absolute god for me all weekend. Yeah, he's been playing out of his mind. I actually got to interview him yesterday. He was very confident in this team, saying how they are all just a big group of friends, happy to be playing together. He said it was an unfortunate situation when their team wound up getting dropped from Noble after Season 3, but they're excited to be back here on land to prove that they are some top-notch players. Yeah, and I love this matchup because it's like the complete opposites of what you were looking for going into this event. You know, where a team that was performing very well online, you weren't really sure what to expect on land. The opposite true for Optic Nation, a team that wasn't performing very well on land, but you expect a lot of things from on land. But here they are, matching up to try and break into top eight currently. About a 35-point lead right now for our Atlas team, which again will be that aware side. But we are on with TP. We'll see if he tries to break into this hard point. Yeah, you're gonna see TP here rotating toward rotating towards the courtyard area. Three enemies inside this hill. Can he pick up one here? No, getting shot in the back. Unfortunately, not able to accomplish much here, Raven. And something we've been discussing a lot here in the Caster Desk this weekend is how important it is to push out when you have this hill. Don't get content sitting inside the garage. Make sure to cover your angles on each side, and you can see. This squad is trying to accomplish that here, but Embo's now on a three kill streak. Finally, it's taken out. Here we have accuracy inside there. Yeah, this will be interesting to see. You know, we talk about some of these maps in Hardpoint, you do not really need an early rotation. In my opinion, Solar, especially this rotation coming up, is a huge one. Usually, you'll see teams try to rotate 20 seconds or so earlier. You do see Happy and crew are going to be the first to get this rotation. They're going to try and set up in that back parking lot, hit these Karma. cuts, and try and prevent this rotation. This is going to be a big engagement. This might be able to tell who gets most of this time. Wow. Karma gets taken out there after a nice three kill streak. He chained some kills together. Let's hop on board with Lawless, Lawless and Happy right just won huge gunfights. They just won nine massive gunfights there to secure this hill. They're going to be able to get a pretty decent lead here, I think, as long as they win a couple more gunfights. But that was Bows and Karma flying in. Bows and able Bose. to pick up a massive two-piece. He's got two more on the left side. Eventually, he's going to fall. Yeah, now you see Karma here sitting in the hill all in his lonesome, knowing team's going to be pushing him from that glass side. But Lawless double jumps in the air and just hits all his shots. Absolutely filthy start I'll tell you what, you know, today. it takes adjusting for us casters and also players in hard point in this game. Typically, if you get a full kill, like oh, a, yeah. a, get four down for a squad, three or four, that's a good, what, 20 to 30 guaranteed points? Oh, yeah. In this game, it's like they flew You in. have 4.7 yeah. seconds. <laughs> Unbelievable stuff. Nice break there, but as you do see, the last four kills on the kill feed are going to go to aware. But this has been a fantastic kill 
for our side of Optic Nation as they brought this much closer. Once down, about 40, Ooh. now within 15. Happy just took out three in a row. These aware players have their shots on fire right now, especially this man, Lawless. Let's see what he can do here, picking up Proofy. Now he's going to be hopping in this hill. They have a 17-second lead going back and forth here. Aware doing a good job of keeping their lead, but Optic Nation fighting back quite hard. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. They're trying to battle back in this one, but you see right now lead increasing just a bit. But control is going to go to Optic Nation here. Let's see if they can hold them off. They have them pushing in this backside. One's going to come middle. TP getting the Ooh. great instincts there to check that side, but he is going to get pushed and gets caught sprinting. Initially going to lose that fight. Nades flying in on accuracy. We'll see if he can win this upcoming battle with Teep, and he's going to lose that one. Nice kill by Teep with the headshot. Yeah, Teep getting shot now from up above. Unfortunately, he gets taken out, trading back and forth here in this hill. No one really getting much time. Now you're going to see this Optic Nation squad trying to break this. Here they come from the White Dome here outside of glass. Big pick up there by Embos, taking the player out of that head glitch. 15 second game, Maven, and we are about to go through our final cycle of hills. Yeah, we see the final rotation coming up here. And you know, it's not, we have 60 second hills, but due to that one second kind of in the rotation, it ends up being off a little bit. Yeah, you know, that's one thing I know Sledge here, I'm gonna be working to get fixed going forward, is get a nice hard point timer for you guys. They'll help us casters as well. But again, this is the first event. I think back to Ghost, we didn't even get a broadcast remote until like the day before the event. So uh, great stuff coming here from Sledge Hammer. Love the developer support. I know things will improve as the year goes on. Oh, exactly. They have done an exceptional job with Advanced Warfare. So many positive thoughts about this game throughout the venue this weekend, as many people enjoy playing it, as well as spectating. Now, let's take a quick look at the slang. Proofy starting off a little slow here at 13 and 22. And the rest of Optic Nation right around even. On the other side, though, the man of the hour right now is Lawless at 30 and 19. The first player hit 30. Can he turn on this player? Don't do it. Oh, my goodness. That Absolutely was, rips him in half. Yeah, that was filthy. Lawless has been at they're just completely crushing. And when you look at this side for Optic Nation, you need, we've talked about the fact that you need Karma and Proofy to get some slang done. You do, because Bo's typically more of a, you know, good s &D player, sort of that fills that sub-objective role. TP fills that sub-objective role. You have to have Karma and Proof going off, and Proof right now struggling. I think that last engagement we saw was kind of telling of how this game's been going for him. Two players pushing him, gets hit markers on both, but not able to get either of the kill. Yeah, this aware squad doing an exceptional job of predicting where the Optic Nation players are going to be pushing. Here you can see all arrows confidently looking down the street, not worrying about a flank. They know where each player is. Finally, now the spawns do flip as Aware is now on the better side when this hardpoint does move towards Garage. Let's see how accuracy can break this. Yep, they do have the better spawn, nice. and that's going to bring him in. He's able to get one. Can he pick up another kill behind him? Able to whip in turn. Nice stuff. Gets two. Teammates still flooding in. Time coming in for Aware right now. They have several players inside of this hill. Point advantage. Going to be approximately 50 here with three to play. Let's see if Aware can keep it going as we're just a few seconds from our next rotation. Yes, yeah, Sender now at 30 and 25. Slang is 100% in Aware's favor, and now they're up by 40 seconds. Embos gets taken out there. Let's see what Proofy can do here to break this back garage hill. And I know it's early. I know this is the first game of the day. Players were up scrimming late, but Proofy right now at 14 and 29. He's got to get that turned around. Leading the way right now, props to both. 10 captures at 29 and 39, at 29 and 30 right now. Tons of engagements, tons of activity inside of that hill. Great stuff. But you do see Aware is going to be set up pretty nicely in this next hill. Let's see if Optification can break. Yeah, 60 second lead here with only two and a half minutes left here for Aware. Let's hop on board with Embos. I saw him here just as early as TP. Both of them warming up their shots, so it does not surprise me to see him performing so well here in game one. They just need to start winning their gunfights. Yeah. Optic is just getting slayed off the map right now. They don't have a single player that's positive uh, other than, well, Embos. Nice. Take it back. You just got that big kill. He's going to be at 33 and 21 right now, but you can just take wow. a look across the right side of your screen. You got 36 and 28 center, 38 and 27 for Lawless. They're absolutely crushing right now. And this is going to be the big one. This is the one that rotates all the way to this back parking lot. You saw a nice setup from where last time, but Optic Nation broke it pretty easily. Can Optic Nation hold it this time? They're flooding in. Yeah, as you can see there, TP and Proofy doing their best there to try to hold that hill for their teammates to rotate. Unfortunately, they get both get taken out now, still down by just about 53 seconds. So with only a minute and a half left, Maven, this game is all but over. And it's just, it's wild to watch here. Just with, typically those early rotations pay off. But yeah. you saw Aware got the first rotation to this hill last time, got crushed. You saw Optic Nation get it this time, got crushed. Just with the speed of this, the way the movement works, you can, if you flood in as a team, you can absolutely dismantle any sort of hill setup. Yeah, look at Lawless and Sender right now, 41 and 30, 39 and 31. Now we're going to hop on board here with Accuracy. A nice kill there, 13 captures, so they're getting hyped over there. 
in the venue and now. You can see here, 13 caps, absolutely ridiculous. Uh, yeah, no, this is just an incredible performance in this first game. Uh, more than likely, I know it's not mathematically possible quite yet, but it should be ticking. Yeah, it's going to be. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's going to be impossible here, actually. Uh, but I'll tell you what, I've been watching Sender, man. I, I love this kid. It just I, I first met him at a UMG event last year. I actually ended up casting a game with him. He couldn't even speak after his series. This kid gets so hyped. While we've been casting, I've been hearing him scream over there. He's one that certainly brings the passion for his squad. Some referred to him as a ghoster. Some didn't give him credit for that second place finish in Ghost Season 3 playoff with MLG. But it's pretty clear here is he is now at 41 and 35 with nine caps that this young kid has come to play. Yeah, I definitely think it's something big to bring up, and it's early morning on a Sunday, Championship Sunday. You need energy if you're going to win these games. And to see this aware squad getting up right now, giving each other high fives, they are hyped here. And it's only, what, 10 a.m. right now, Maven? I'm, yeah. I think I'm still asleep. Yeah, it's bright and early right now, and you can just see the energy levels. And, and that's been something we've actually talked about through the course of the event. You know, you've seen kind of this common collective, let's say we can talk about like the, the Optic Gaming team. They, yeah. They've seemed kind of just not high energy at times. No. Um, we've watched Envy, they've been in these lulls, but then Clay gets going and they, they, all of a sudden the fire, the oh energy gosh. is there to be big swing. And granted, are there teams that play better with that you know, kind of calm and collective? Oh, you know, of course. Just keep focused, we don't need that energy stuff, yes. But in any sport, whether it is a video game, whether it is a real sport, you get that adrenaline flowing, some magic can happen. Oh yeah, and that's what we're gonna be seeing here from this aware squad. If we can quickly take a look at the scoreboard, you'll see that Embos dropped 42 and 37. But on the other side, the two stories were Sender. Yeah, 42 and 37 himself, but the man of the hour, Lawless, 43 and 35, completely outslaying the opposition. Yeah, team. just a fantastic job, and we've seen outside of Uplink, I mean, this game is really so far, you know, as raw as it is, it is it's coming down to slang. I mean, will oh, yeah. it be possibly, you know, more strategy, more early rotation stuff down the road? Yes. But right now, <laughs> for the most part, it's been winning those gunfights, being overly aggressive, and just run and gun. And you saw how well they did that there. Bo is really the only one keeping up on the Optic Nation side. Now, game number two. Again, we are in round four in the loser's bracket. This is for top eight between Optic Nation and Aware. So our next match is going to be Search and Destroy Biolab. Tweet the stream. I don't care if it's Alpha. I don't care if it's Bravo. Tell your friends, family. Come join us. Be right back after this commercial break.